What a great strike by Tonga by Lowen. Pressure coming. Intercepted in the end zone. Today from Baptist Health Studios in Miami Gardens, I'm Kimberly Bell, a.k.a. Kimmy B. Now, the NFL's annual league meeting kicked off on Monday in Palm Beach, Florida, and we are now less than one week away from the Dolphins starting their off-season workouts under new head coach Mike McDaniel. McDaniel and general manager Chris Greer addressed the media at the league meeting on Monday and spoke about the new acquisitions and, of course, the team-building process. There is no shortcut to doing anything great in this league. And as much as you'd like to say bold this, that, or the other, there's no, there's no shortcut, there's no secret. It, it's guys coming in together trying to work for a common goal and becoming the best offense, which, ha remember, football is 11, 11 separate players working together in unison um, at the same time. This was not a rebuild. You know, this was, you know, finding the right players, right pieces, right time, and I think we've you know, acquired a lot of young talent coming in, but you can find good veteran players that are good, not only good players, but leaders, you know, as well as people talk about Tyreek's leadership there in Kansas City, you know, the Saints all raved. I mean, here, Mickey Loomis stopped me again, so one of the best human beings you'll ever be around. So I think for our roster, if we can add, you know, however people, you know, blue players, as people call, you know, those top players at positions in the league, especially if they're great leaders and veterans, uh, for these guys, I think it's a great opportunity for us. So we just felt this was the right time to really be aggressive. I think we've added some playmakers, and um, there, there's only positives that can come with that. Um, and I think all those guys will make each other better, um, working diligently and deliberately day in, day out through the offseason program. What we want is really good football players at the position. On top of that, if they happen to be fast, you know, there's a couple ways that we can utilize that. So um, I, I think the, the biggest thing is that we got some really good football players that happen to be fast, that on April 4th we're going to be able to start to get in rooms together um, and kind of develop what this team is going to be. At the end of the day, you just keep trying to do what's best you hope for the organization and what we feel good about, you know, in terms of uh, trying to build a team that competes for Super Bowls here. All right, so the offensive line has also been bolstered in recent weeks with the signings of free agent offensive tackles Connor Williams and Teron Armstead. But the NFL draft has also proved valuable in recent years when it comes to protecting your quarterback. In fact, we got a behind-the-scenes breakdown from our assistant general manager, Marvin Allen, who sat down with Drive Time podcast host Travis Wingfield to discuss what the draft process looked like when it came to Robert Hunt. With the 39th pick in the 2020 NFL Draft, the Miami Dolphins select Robert Hunt, tackle, Louisiana Lafayette. So I'm curious because this is you know kind of off off the radar here, but when I watched him at, at Louisiana, I laughed a lot watching him because he was doing things that just did not look like he belonged on that field. Like, did you kind of get a, a bit of a chuckle watching his college tape? Yes, because he was. So I mean. Dominant. He was so dominant and he was that athletic and people got a chance to see a glimpse of the athleticism on the the touchdown that wasn't that, you know, but I mean that showed his athleticism and his power and he's just a great person and he's like, okay, well, we can build with guys like this. What were some areas that you believe that he needed to grow and, and kind of how has he progressed in those areas? Well, I, th I think just learning to play offensive line in the NFL, I mean, because it's, you know, they're not as technical, you know, sometimes in college and, and having to learn the techniques and the, and, the, and the verbiage of the plays and still work with your footwork and your techniques and stuff. It was, it was kind of, it was a, you know, it was a growing process for him. Now, in case you haven't noticed, the event calendar here at Hard Rock Stadium never seems to slow down, right? The Miami Open is in full swing, drawing the eyes of the tennis world to South Florida, and plenty of Dolphins players took in some of the action last week, including Christian Wilkins, Calvin Munson, Jalen Waddell, Emmanuel Ogba, and Jalen Phillips. Now, Ogba and Phillips even got to meet some of the players. Check out their interactions with Naomi Osaka and Coco Goff. You ever been to a Dolphin game before? No, I've never been, but I've always just driven past it when I used okay. to live here. Okay, you def should definitely Sorry. come back, you know, during the season and come check out the game. When does your season start? Uh, like our first game is in September, like okay. September 9th. So you guys play in winter? Yeah, like fall, winter? Yeah, fall yeah. winter, yeah. 
You were ready after the game? Yeah, I've been to a couple Dolphins games. Not sure if you caught that, but Coco said she has definitely been to a couple of Dolphins games. I sense a fan. So it must be very cool for her to play here in Hard Rock Stadium and, of course, catch up with some of the current players. Now, that's going to do it for this edition of Dolphins today. As always, we appreciate you watching. And stay tuned to all Dolphins social media channels for any team updates. And, of course, we'll see you on Friday.